In this video, I'm going to show you how you can colorize a black and white photo or old photo using AI tools like ChatGPT, Gemini, and another free AI tool that's probably even better than ChatGPT or Gemini. So let me show you how you can do it. First, you can navigate to gemini.tool.com if you want to use Gemini or you can navigate to chartgpt.com if you want to use chartgpt. It doesn't matter what AI tool you're using because the prompt would be the same. So let me show you how you can do it on Gemini. Here, you can click this button and then click up to files and then you can select the file that you want to colorize. And in this case, I'm going to be using this picture of family with three children and i'm gonna be using this air prompt i'm going to copy it and by the way the full prompt will be available in the video description now i'm going to paste it right here on gemini and then click image and then send the message to gemini now let's do it on chat gpt while gemini is still doing the colorization click here click add photos and files and then select the file again and in this case i'm gonna be, i'm gonna be using the same photo click open and i'm gonna be using the same prompt as the one that i used for gemini click tools and enable create image and send the message so ChatGPT will usually take even more time than gemini to colorize or to modify a picture so i guess i'll just skip forward and show you the final result so we can compare the result between gemini and ChatGPT. all right so both ChatGPT and gemini have finished colorizing the picture and let me show you a quick comparison so this is the original photo okay just a family picture there is a mother and then the three children and just take a closer look at the face the facial expression all the details everywhere uh, just take a look at their faces and now let's see what gemini has to offer so this is the result it's pretty disappointing i gotta say so let me just uh, preview it in the larger screen so the problem with gemini here is that it actually lose a lot of details so that's my problem with gemini now technically if you want to get the highest resolution of the photo you can click the download button right here because this is actually just a preview so it's not showing the full resolution of the photo but even that you can tell that the face is not the same anymore the face it look a bit different and probably you can call them to be completely different people and let's take a look at the result from chat gbt so in this case i would say the detail is much better it's much more preserved compared to gemini and as i would say the facial expression is much closer to the original compared to gemini so actually chat used to be really bad like a few months ago we got this report from uh, some people trying to replicate the same picture over and over again using using gemini sorry using chat gpt and every single time it is going to give you a slightly different look slightly different face and over time when you are editing a picture with chat gpt you could get a completely different person but now i gotta say chat gpt has improved a lot and i can tell that this is much better much more accurate than gemini so if you want to colorize picture then i guess right now ChatGPT is a much bit better option than Gemini but there is one alternative that you could try and it is free and in my testing it is actually giving you much better accuracy compared to both ChatGPT and Gemini so the tool called drag control I actually have covered this tool a few days ago where basically this is a new AI model that is basically video model but it also produces picture and the way it works is just very unique and it allows the modification to be subtle and you can focus on the things that you you want actually to modify so you can navigate to this url if you want to try this tool and by the way the link will be available in the video description alongside with the prompt now you can click this and this time around i'll actually select this picture that i have cropped so the previous picture was vertical but this one is the square version and the reason is because this model right now can only support a square picture you can upload a vertical or horizontal picture but it will be squeezed into square and that's why i do recommend to just crop your original picture into square to be able to fit with this AI model now let's enable colorization and that's basically it if you scroll down there are some other settings but they are actually for other modes so for the colorization feature you don't have to change anything and then you can click run 
and just wait for this AI tool to process your image and you'll see that the result is going to be much better than ChatGPT and Gemini. All right, so we got the result and it is actually creating not only a picture, but also the video. So you can play the preview in case you want to see the transition between black and white into a colorized picture. And there you go. It looks quite interesting. And anyway, if you want to download a picture, you can click this button. And yeah, let me just show the picture. And there you go. So maybe the only downside of this model at the moment is that this is only able to produce a 512 pixel picture which is very small but if you look closely if you compare it to ChatGPT, you can tell that the result from drug control from from the open source tool or the from huggy face right here is actually much better it feels more natural than ChatGPT than gemini and even though ChatGPT looks great, but I gotta say there is something more authentic, more unique from this version, from the Draw Control AI tool. So yeah, I'm hoping that this tool or this technology will be adopted more and more in the future so we can see this technology in a other in other tools like ChatGPT and Gemini and uh, maybe we can have better access to, the, to this tool in the future. So that's basically all the tools that you could use uh, to colorize a picture using our tools and again the prompt and also the links will be available in the video description so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video i wish you a great day ahead